DC and Marvel games have been coming out since the dawn of the medium, but none truly broke through as a great game. Sure, there were standout titles like Spider-Man 2 and Marvel Ultimate Alliance, but as a whole, the genre never really took off. That was until 2009, when Batman Arkham Asylum was released. The game showed that not only are superhero games possible, but they can be landmarks of the gaming industry. Since then, plenty of AAA superhero games have come out, but have fallen back into the gutter of mediocrity. So that begs the question, does the superhero genre need to step back from AAA games? With the Batman Arkham series and Marvel Spider-Man series, it's fair to say that both companies have had a fair bit of recent success. But for every one of those games, there's a Marvel's Avengers and a Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League that trip on their own coattails and fall flat. Plus, AAA games aren't exactly cheap to make and take a long time to do so. The example of Guardians of the Galaxy, which received positive reviews but didn't exactly sell well, is perhaps the biggest reason why AAA superhero games may not be the best course. Over the last few years, smaller titles like Marvel Snap have received success while being significantly cheaper to develop and maintain. This is not even mentioning the gigantic backlog of content and stories that both Marvel and DC have to make games out of. Imagine a dark mystery game with John Constantine. Imagine a bombastic adventure with Deadpool, similar to what we got in 2013. Imagine the almost infinite possibilities for smaller games if Marvel and DC gave them a chance. Thanks for watching. For more content and articles like this, be sure to check out GameRant.com. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more on YouTube, and we'll see you next time.